as COVID-19 ravages parts of the country, you might be wondering where is the flu? CBS 2's Marissa Parr spoke to a healthcare worker on the front lines who tells us why so far the flu has been a no show. For almost an entire year, coronavirus has been the center of attention, but noticeably absent, despite earlier warnings, is the flu. People were afraid of what they were calling a twindemic. There was this fear that coronavirus and the flu were going to be hitting us at the same time. The flu has been really unusual this year. We haven't seen any cases of the flu in my office. Dr. Lisa Ravindra is a primary care doctor with Rush University Medical Center, meaning she's had a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with influenza. My schedule would be comprised of maybe a third of patients with cough, cold, flu-like symptoms. This year, the flu has been a no-show. Take a look at this chart from the city of Chicago. The gray is influenza hospitalizations from last winter's flu season. The blue, you may not even be able to see it, but that's from this season. Compare that with what the same chart looked like from the city of Chicago in January of 2020, just weeks before coronavirus arrived, and it looks like there is a link. The measures we're taking to slow the spread of coronavirus are actually doing a great job of slowing the spread of the flu. Social distancing, wearing masks, less traveling, and more staying home by working at home and learning at home. A big one, since unlike COVID-19, which doesn't seem to spread through children, the same doesn't go for influenza. Children have been uh, carriers of the flu or can spread the flu very easily. Keep in mind, too, that among adults, COVID-19 is just more contagious. Part of that is because of how long it takes for symptoms to show up. With COVID-19, it can take up to 14 days. With influenza, it can take around one or two, and you're more likely to stay away from people when you're feeling sick. And there's one more factor. Those fears of getting COVID and the flu at the same time had people rushing to the pharmacist. I think that that encouraged people at that time to get the flu vaccine. So in the U.S., we've vaccinated more people than ever before for the flu. Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News. As of Christmas Day, more than 192 million doses of the flu vaccine had been distributed. The CDC says that's a record high for the U.S. in a single flu season. Doctors say it is not too late to get your flu shot.